Undertale. Mouse. Get out of here. Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome back to a slight reprieve from Undertale. So I can go back. Elevator is in use. Well, maybe not. Apparently, I can go back. I don't have to go, um... I, I can eventually go back, but apparently not right now. Maybe the elevator will be in use later, or not be in use later. Also, this background is amazing. Where I'm, this city is actually fairly huge. Um, does anybody actually live here, or is this just ruins as well? It seems like there should be a lot of monsters hustling and bustling and... Whoa, whoa! This is like Toriel's house. This is Toriel's house. But all gray. This way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the hall and in the hallway. Whoa, somebody's expecting me. It's a golden flower. I'm guessing that um, Asgore is expecting me. It's a golden flower. The coals are still warm. There are fo there's a photo album, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like gardening tools. My, he is a big gardener, huh? It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Aw. Somebody's in here? Have froggets! Time a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Okay. Um, the fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Ew. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Ooh. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. Wow. This um, this King Asgore really is. A uh, fluffy pushover, huh? The stove top is very clean. Someone must have must use fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Oh my gosh! You took the key and put it on your fo uh, phone's keychain. Anything else? No, no. Okay. Boo, boo. Oh, this music. Whimsies. Asriel, the king's son, heard the humans call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay, a little bit of story. Uh, Azrael was the son of... I'm guessing... Um, what's his name? Asgore. Azrael Asgore. Uh... Uh, yeah, 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 well, it's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. There's a lot of golden flowers. Okay, let's see what's in here. A present. Button to presents. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. There's a lot of striped shirts in here. So, didn't they say something about kids wearing dusty toys? Uh, didn't they say something about kids wearing toy- or not toys. Wearing striped shirts in this- in this video game world? It's a drawing of a golden flower. There's a heart-shaped locket uh, inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah. Do you take the heart-shaped locket? There's a worn dagger inside the box. Do you take it? No. No, I don't need that info. Heart locket, armor defense 25 or 15. It says best friends forever. Aww. Aww, something bad happened to this household. Something bad happened. What is this? Room under renovations, just like the other place. Just like Toriel. Were Toriel and Asriel a thing? Over time, Asriel the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Yeah, seriously, I, I think that they were a thing, weren't they? It's me! Despite everything, it's still you. So, uh, whoops. It's... It took the key and put it in. Uh, you, you took the key and put it on your chain. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages says ha is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. The Asgore. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 it's a chair. Okay. It's a king sized bed for a king. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yes, Toriel. Now that I think about it, that was a queen sized bed for Toriel. She was the queen. Macaroni out of a flower for a king dad. Yep. Toriel's gotta be the queen. 
It's a bur it's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Oh my god! Fluffies. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Oh my god. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzler champs, 98. Back in 98. Oh, Asgore sounds like a really fluffy daddy, like a uh, like one of the really cute daddy, uh, not cute daddies, but a daddy type, dad type. There's an old calendar from the end of 2000x, uh, 2010x. The date is circled on it. Oh, I wonder why there's a circle date. The Roach guys. Then one day, the human became very ill. Six cotton, all whistly on me. Vegetoids. The sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day. The next day. Dots. The human died. Oh. Oof. Oh, you guys. Azria racked, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul, and transformed into a being with incredible power. Oh fuck. Shit just got real. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Fuck me. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. More ruins. Oh, you guys again. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh no. Oh no. Dummies again. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow, af blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. Oh, you guys! But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Oh God, this is getting really sad. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh, fuck me. He kingdom, the kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Ooh, fuck. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Everything human who fall every human who falls down here must die with enough souls we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go will give us hope, will let us go, will save us all. Oh no. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? This isn't the answer. Destroying humanity is not the answer. You're going to be free. I'm not happy because what the fuck? Oh. Okay. That, um. That was a lot to take in all of a sudden. Can I go back at all? I, apparently I can. Um. I'm gonna go see. Give me one moment, guys. I wanna see what Undyne and Papyrus have to say, if anything. So give me a second. That was harsh. I can go back. Hey, I'm back. Hey, I'm back, 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 back. There's no response. Of course there's not. What, ab what about here? There's no response. Okay, what about out here? Heading into the core? Hmm. The core is huge, a huge is a huge tower of electric energy. So I don't think your phone will work through it. Ah. Oh no! What will you do without us? I don't know. I don't know. 
You have something you have to do, right? Well, even without words, we'll be with you in spirit, okay? Yeah, you can't get rid of us. We're counting on you, so don't mess it up. We're not going to say goodbye to you just yet. Aww. Okay, that was worth going back for. Uh, oh, oh shit! I have forgot the mystery key! Fuck! Give me one moment, guys, this might take a while for me, but you guys at least won't have to worry about this. I forgot the mystery key! I forgot the mystery key. Oh, I gotta go to all the way. Somebody told me, a friend of mine told me uh, that I have to go all the way back to fucking Napsablook's house because that's where the mysterious key goes. It's in the door next door. I wish it was Sans's mysterious key because then I could actually go into his room. I don't even know how to get into his room. I'd like to get into his room. He's got a lot of secrets, and I want to know those secrets. So here we go to Napster Blue's house. On the dog boat, on the dog boat, 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 doggy, doggy, dog boat, dog, dog boat. Dog, a dog, a dog boat, pet, pet, pet. The next stretch is infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. What? Uh, I think you mean, um, lesser dog, right? Because I didn't, uh, people were complaining to me that I didn't pet the l lesser dog. I was supposed to pet the lesser dog a ton, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go up here. And it's this place. It's locked. Item use. You used the mysterious key. The red house door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Oh, oh, so... This is a relative of Naps to Blooks? I can't get past these. What the hell? Why can't I get past the journals? This is stupid. Dear Di Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her... That she, Blukey, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. What up? I'd like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Oh, you're a weird one. Dearest diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try to become corporal, too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blukey. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find that kind of body, the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. Okay, I read all that. All right, sorry, sorry. There we go. My darling diary, I met someone. Interesting today. Last week, I posted an advertisement for a human, for my human fan club. Ouch. Today. Today was our first meeting. My only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with human these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Diary. My dear... My dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I like five now. Dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Metaton! Metaton's a ghost. Blukey. Naps to Bluk. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on the mix CD. Oh... Uh... Oh god, it poor Naps the Bluke. I'm so sorry, Naps the Bluke. <sighs> I I I feel like, oh god. That's oh I'm so sorry. Bye. Uh I'm gonna buy some CT just in case. Exit. Okay. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I want the snowed in instead. Hold on. I'm gonna go check. 
just one thing, one more thing, and I'm going to end the episode there, and then we'll see King Asgore in the next episode, okay, everybody? Also, I wanted to ask everyone, or, uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything, because I hate missing things in games. I hate it. Okay, so can we not get into Sans's room yet? Can I not get into his room yet? Nope. Nope, that's a big fat negative there, old buddy, old Buster Brown. Okay. I'm guessing I can't get in here either, right? Hello, that's my house! Not my house! Okay. Yeah, what are you doing in my shed? That's my shed. You better not be pissing in my shed, human! No man, yeah, you don't be pushing in my shed, human. Cause it like it's easy to piece together that Metaton is a ghost. Who else other than Alfie's watches like human or uh, anime weird a cartoons called animes and built a body, quote unquote, a body for uh, uh for a person so that their go the ghost can inhabit it. Metaton is a fucking ghost. It, it, all you have to do is piece the goddamn puzzles together and figure it out. And she left behind Naps to Bluk all by himself. So there was two, there's, there's at least three go or four ghost types. There was the regular, there was the dummy uh, from the beginning. Then there was the Naps to Bluk. Wait, was Napsablook trying to inhabit that fucking, uh, first dummy? I think he was. I think there was actually only three ghost type ghosts in this, wor in this world, and I think Napsablook was trying to inherit the uh, dummy body just so he could be with Mad Dummy and or be with, uh, Metaton. Well... That is a sad story, and then I accidentally scared him out. It would explain why he was there. It would explain completely why he was there. Why else would he have been sitting there so far from home, really? Oh, man. Now I feel bad for accidentally chasing him out of his body. I think it was him. We haven't seen a fourth ghost, and there's only three ghosts, and the only one who seems shy enough that would flee from a goddamn, uh, from a, a dummy just from talking to it would be Napstablook because he is ever so shy. So very ridiculously shy. So I'm guessing, yes, yes indeedy, that he is from the, uh, he is Napstablook. Oh, hello. I don't have the time to continue this, I do not think. It is all dark, and it is very scary now, so... That's it. That's it. That's it. Thanks, everybody. That's the entire episode. I'm sorry. It was a bit of a crappy one, but uh, oh well. I will see you all next time, and as per usual, you all have a nice day. I don't normally say that, but have a nice day!